Do you have a GPS that can send position information? Then connect it to your computer and I'll show you how to use it with QGIS. In Windows, you can check the device manager for the assigned COM port, but it's not entirely necessary. In QGIS, you have panels and toolbars. In the panels section, you activate the GPS information panel. In this panel, you have panes for information, status bars, sky plot, and settings. In the settings, you could use auto detect, which will work most of the times. Click connect and wait for the status indicator. Under digitizing, you have a few options and I'll demonstrate them later on. Let's enlarge the cursor for this demo. Map centering can be used to automatically pan the map depending on the GPS position. If you want to, you can start a log file for the GPS data, but you need to define this before you connect to your GPS. In order to use the add feature function, I first need a layer to add features to. Let's start with a point layer. Pressing add point will do just that to the currently active edit layer. And since I have auto save enabled, the features are saved automatically. Turning this function off will show the standard dialog when you toggle editing. Let's try a line layer. In order to add a line, you first need at least two vertices. You can add those manually by pressing add track point, which will add a GPS location to the trace. Or you can use the function to automatically add points. At any time you can reset this trace. And when you are done, you add it to the line layer as a new feature. Polygons, finally work much the same way, so if you understand points and lines, polygons shouldn't be a problem. See you next time!